This is a special ARM podcast as we speak with session presenters and keynote speakers from the ARM conference. I'm Bill Klaproth. With me is Catherine Williams, Director of Supply Chain for Baptist Memorial Healthcare in Memphis, Tennessee. Her session, COVID-19, Supply Chain Becomes Agile, Adaptable, and Aligned. Catherine, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast. I appreciate it. Can you start by giving us a brief overview of your session? Sure. We reviewed three topics, the first being agility through data, adapting your logistics and storage, and how to align to succeed all within our COVID-19 environment. Got it. That sounds great. And I know uh, the session was fantastic. So it's nice of you to join us and share some of your insight with our podcast listeners right now. So let me ask you this. You're talking about agility and other things. How can we recognize and better understand ERP data for use in agile decision making and making? Well, the primary thing that we need to do is realize that when we're looking at our data, we're actually looking at the outcome of its source. So we have to take it one step further and we have to truly understand where our data is coming from and what's causing it to populate on the reports that we pull. So for example, are we looking at data that's coming from an accounts payable source, a purchase order source, receiving issues, the GL, that sort of thing? Because once we actually truly understand where the data is coming from, we're going to be able to use it more effectively, faster, and make better decisions with it. Right. And I know another thing that you uh, touched on in the session, you talked about uh, logistical and storage situations. So how can we adapt our, what we have currently, our current logistical and storage situations? How do we get those ready for the future? Sure. I think one thing we always need to be thinking about that COVID kind of really forced upon us quickly is how do we better capitalize on our physical organization of our products and how do we take the best advantage of our space? So, for example, are we losing an opportunity to store vertically because we don't have the correct racking or the correct equipment, such as pallet jacks and forklifts? Or do we need to have a conversation with our sourcing teams, not only about the products that they're bringing into us, but how they're actually packaged and how big those things are? Are they in large cases? Are they going to be palletized, et cetera? So those are all really uh, real-world concerns and uh, good to think about as we move into the future. And then you also talked about collaborating with clinicians as well and capitalizing on clinical alignment to provide the safest environment for our team members and patients. Can you tell us about that? Sure. I think with supply chain, the main thing that we always need to remember is that we are a service role. It is our job to help serve our clinicians and our internal clients so that they can best serve our patients that come into our facilities. And for example, any type of decision that we make to bring product in, either gloves or gowns or whatever the case may be, we need to be sure to go to those end users with sample product, have a conversation, and make sure that they are engaged in the decisions that will directly affect their ability to care for patients. If someone came up to you and asked you, hey, how do I make my supply chain agile, adaptable, and aligned? What's most important to know? What would you say? The most important thing is to constantly be educating yourself on your supply chain, constantly be asking questions and learning more about your data and its source, constantly be thinking about better ways to physically bring products in uh, logistically and to always have a growing relationship with clinicians, those influencer clinicians who are not always in leadership roles and to never stop learning about our craft. Yeah, really good advice. Uh, That's excellent. And thank you so much for sharing that with us, Catherine. We really appreciate it. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You're very welcome. And once again, that's Catherine Williams. And for more education like this, please go to the ARM Knowledge Center at arm.org slash knowledge dash center. Thanks for listening.